Hey guys, my name is Dr. Ryan DeBell from themovementfix.com and in this video we're going to take a look at how to prepare for benchmark workout number one of the 2014 Lurong Living Paleo Challenge. For benchmark workout number one, we really want to prepare the shoulders and the bottom of the squat for the movements that we're going to be dealing with. So the first thing that we're going to do is put uh, Tia here in a tall kneeling position, which is just being upright on both knees, and go ahead and grab that towel. And we're going to first work on going on our overhead movement, our overhead mobility and our control. So she's going to start with the towel in her hands like this with the palms facing each other. She's going to squeeze her butt and then she's going to lift the towel up overhead as far as she can, hold for one second and then come back down. We want to avoid jutting the head through. It's very common to want to do that. Keep going. It's very common to want to jut the head through, but we want to avoid that. If you don't have a towel, you can use a t-shirt uh, or you can interlock your fingers. So go ahead and show them the interlocking fingers. So she's going to go like that and then go as far overhead as she can. Five reps, whatever level you want to do it at. One second hold the top. And then we're going to work on the arms going back. And we're going to use the towel again. Same thing, palms facing each other. And then lift off uh, your hips as far as you can. Good. With a one second hold. Okay. Again, you can use a t-shirt if you don't have a towel. Or you can interlock your hands if you can. This can be quite challenging. We're going to go just as far as we can. So five reps, one second hold. After that, we're going to start working on preparing the squat position. And for that, we're going to use a movement called the lateral lunge. And we're going to use it with a dowel here. And the dowel is going to be placed along her back with three points of contact on it. The back of her head, the middle of her back, and then down here uh, in the lowest part of the low back. And she's going to take a really wide stance. And during this movement, we don't want to gain a point of contact or lose a point of contact because that means our spinal positioning changed, which we don't want to have happen under a load in a squat. So she's going to squat to her left as far as she can and do whatever you got to do with your right foot to make it easier. So a lot of people will lift their toe off and kind of turn their foot like that. And that's fine. Good. And then go ahead and go to the other side. And we're going to go five reps each side. So back and forth five times. When you're crossing over from left to right, you don't want to have a lot of tension through here. So, so come off of tension when you transition to the other side. Okay, so five reps right, five reps left. Good. And then the next movement that we want to do is working on the uh, shoulder to overhead. And we're going to start light here. We're going to start with the dowel. We're going to go five reps, shoulder to overhead. If you want to do a press, a strict press, a push press, or a push jerk, your choice since it's shoulder overhead. So go ahead and uh, do five reps. So either a push jerk. Good. And just do a push press. Good. And as you move through this and, and cycle through it, go ahead and increase the weight until we get up to the working load.